Hey guys, it's Miss Josette, and I am here with this week's Kids Club message. On Monday, it is Memorial Day, and I want to talk about what Memorial Day means, what Memorial Day is for us, both as Americans and as Christians. Now, Memorial Day means many things to many people. To sports fans, Memorial Day is a great weekend for maybe baseball and maybe the Indianapolis 500. If you're a sports fan who likes those kind of things. For movie fans, Memorial Day is the weekend that starts off the summer blockbuster season. For kids and teachers, Memorial Day is a day that you get off school. It also means that summer break is about to start. We're that much closer. But Memorial Day is a sad day for parents for that reason, because that means the kids will be home all day instead of in school. I'm just kidding. But everybody looks forward to Memorial Day for different reasons. Some people look forward to parades. Some people look forward to picnics. Everybody looks forward to Memorial Day for different reasons. But that's not the reason that the holiday began. You see, Memorial Day was created so that we could remember those who sacrificed for our freedom. On Memorial Day, the, we honor the veterans of foreign wars. Active military members we remember on Veterans Day, but on Memorial Day, we honor those who have paid the ultimate price and died for our country. Now, from the very beginning of this country's history, men and women have willingly laid down their life for this nation. They died to win their freedom in the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, the Mexican War. They died to keep our country together during the Civil War. They died to protect the freedoms of others in the two world wars, the Korean War, Vietnam War, and the wars in the Middle East. All of these wars, people have sacrificed to protect freedoms. The brave heroes who have died for our country remind us that sometimes we need to put the needs of others above ourselves. That's what the men and women who serve this country do. They choose to put the needs of others in this country above their own wants, needs, and desire. They remind us that God wants us to put serving him and serving others ahead of our own interests. Paul wrote about this when he sent the letter to the Christians in Rome. Paul said, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that the by the testing, you will discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. So we are reminded to be a living sacrifice. But what does that mean? Well, Jesus set the standard for us, didn't he? He set the standard by exactly what it means to be a sacrifice when he sacrificed being in heaven with his heavenly father to come to earth, live as a baby, a child, and a man here on earth. He never sought any personal gain. He never sought any glory for himself. He wasn't rich. He wasn't powerful. He wasn't popular. He wasn't popular with anybody who had power back in those days. Matter of fact, Jesus spent his time with the sick, the poor, the needy. He chose sinners as his best friends. In fact, his disciples included a traitor, a hothead, a doubter, a political radical, a tax collector. He chose some really interesting people to hang out with. But that wasn't all that Jesus did. We know the biggest sacrifice that Jesus made was when he gave up his life for our sins. Jesus was perfect. Jesus didn't have to do that, but he sacrificed his life and he died on the cross for our sins. Now for Memorial Day, we wave flags and that's one of the holidays where you'll see a lot of flags and a lot of red, white, and blue around. But And that helps us remember the sacrifice that soldiers have made for this country. But when we look at the cross, that's what we look at to remember the sacrifice that Jesus did for our country. Now, sacrifice doesn't come naturally for us. We are sinners. And sin, that's a selfish act. We want to take care of our wants. We want to do what we please. We want to do what makes us happy. We don't want to listen to someone else. And we don't want to put someone else's needs above our own naturally. 
But there's a cure for that kind of selfishness. And that is to remember what Jesus did. Because Jesus didn't die because he had something to gain. He did it because we couldn't do it for ourselves. And so because of Jesus, we can have our sins forgiven. We can have eternal life. We could, when we consider what Jesus did for us, how can we not want to give up some of ourselves for others? Now, sacrifice does not mean that everyone has to lay down their life. There are a lot of Christians who are persecuted for their belief, but that doesn't mean that that's what's going to happen. And that's not what you're always going to be asked to do. Sometimes sacrifice means giving up some of your money to the offering plate. Sometimes sacrifice means maybe buying something for someone else instead of buying a video game for ourselves or something for ourselves that we give that money to God. It might mean instead of playing video, playing those video games, we give more time to God and devote in prayer and Bible study and going to church. But whatever it is you do, you're doing it for others. You're not doing it for your own personal gain. You're doing it because of what Jesus did for you and you want to give to others. Being a living sacrifice means putting God and others ahead of yourself. And when we do that, we show the world how much Jesus loves us. Just like those men and women who believe in this country and believe in what this country has done, puts them, this country above themselves when they fight in those wars. That is what we can do as Christians is to put others' needs before our own. And that helps us do what Jesus has called us to do. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to forgive my selfishness. I ask you to help me to be a living sacrifice, to help me to put others before myself, before my own wants, needs, and desires of my heart, to put other people first. In the name of your son, we pray. Amen. <laughs>